Sunan, guide me.
¿Qué? What is all this? Who bangs the drums of war? Look at you! A battle-hardened Vikinger! <laughs> Just what we need. Oh, and what do you need this battle-hardened warrior for? One day, we will be the greatest warriors beneath our banner. Skulls will write songs off the wolf pack, but we must first practice our raiding. <laughs> Going on a raid? Then we shall raid. Three wolves and I will be forced to your lead. Wolf pack! Onwards! Wolf pack! They ran. Four warriors, like four limbs of one clawing body. Each limb built to kill. Destroy. is a foul stench. But we are strong, Annie. Yes, strong with stink. Hey, pass all you guys get out of Hello, friend. Come see my wares. You should always have some of these. Have you looked at everything I have for sale? I must take my leave. So long. Yes, sir. 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 Y
det är något utav det fanna. Irlandi halda fram. Sögur segja Danir og Östnir sambind. Does everyone in Alrek Stadia play their love game so loudly? No, it's just my husband. He cannot satisfy his wife! Ah, old age? No, he's still young and fit. It was not always so. You could not keep us apart when we were raiding. He, he would plow you during raids. Our first time was in the middle of a burning village. After a while, the crew made us stop. They said it was... distracting. Love can burn brighter near death. Have you tried revisiting these memories? Yeah, but talking about it is not the same. I need to feel it. Smell it. So you need to bring the excitement of the raid into your bed. You could help us pretend we are raiding. That will make my water flow. Come, we must tell my husband. I was only, uh... Well, all right. Grab your weapon, you big, strong vikinger. Today we raid. A raid? Now? Join me in the blood dance. Fill me with your battle lust. Oh, yes, yes! Maybe you could start by breaking things. And scream, as you do, like it is really happening!
Go, Zunin. Face and say that again! I said your stench is strong! That's your only strength! Your stench! You have just won your heart's desire, Eivor. Yet, by the look on your face, you have lost your will to live. Gorm is here with the last of his men. Why does that troll dare show his face? Leave it for another day. We are here under Harald's truce, and Gorm is too weak to try anything bold. Here's a seat stain on his father's trousers. I should wipe him from this world. Not tonight, Eivor. Leave it. Basim, watch over this one and see that he warms himself with drink. I will find my father and escort him to the longhouse. As you wish. Is Hytham well? He will heal, but never fully recover. It is fortunate that you were able to succeed where he failed. My resolve was strong. When you slew Kyotve, did you see a sigil on him? Silver, the size of my palm, bearing the symbol of an ash tree? Take it. Trade it for what you can. I know where Gorm is camped. If you wish to see him without anyone the wiser, there is a trick I can teach you. Already looking for another princess? All right, I'll bite. What do I do? Use your cloak to obscure your face. Blend into the crowd. Divert attention. Hide in plain sight. A gift of knowledge from a man I hardly know. Is this your way of asking me to join your brotherhood? Not at all. So long as men and women fight to secure honor and freedom, the religion hardly matters to me. I suppose there's no shame in using deception when honor is at stake. And Gorham is a stain on that honor. Then let's see what can be done to cleanse that stain. Give it a try. A few things you should know before you step into his camp. Walking unseen through hostile territory is an exercise in subtlety. A hood makes you forgettable, dismissed at a distance. Remain far from watchful eyes, and you will be invisible to them. Do not draw blade or hammer, for these and other sudden movements can break your disguise. And in case I wasn't clear, you will need to... Put up your hood for the trick to work. is there, in the camp ahead. <gasps> what were you thinking? 
drinking mead on an empty stomach. Uh, you have to eat something before drinking that much. How does that go? Feed before meat. I have some roasted lamb on the spit. Are you coming? Arka, shit! Take up your weapon and follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor land where it may. You dare not break the king's peace here. So fuck you and your god talk. What say you to that? <laughs> <laughs> you can beat me, but you will not kill me. Not under Harald's truce. You are all subject to King Harald's truce. Break his peace and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. I will give you no trouble. You were shed into this world without honor, Gorm. And you will leave as a turd dumped into Hell's deepest ditch. Keep crowing, Eivor. You only make yourself an easier target. The all thing will have started. I should find Sigurd. still lives, Eivor. It pains me to say. He does. Thank you. His day will come. Oh, gods. I hate long speeches. Only when you're not giving them. Many of you knew my father, Halfdan the Black. A great man who achieved great things. They buried Halfdan's leg near our temple. The crops have never grown tall. <laughs> They buried his arse near ours, and we get nothing but a muddy river! I dream of something greater. A vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. United under one king, one rule. Too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify. And turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blotted before the age of ten, and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask, who among you rejects this new arrangement? 
I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will not be your subject. Tomorrow we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble Jor. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this lord. We do not limp together. We fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Luvina. But I hold no grudge. May the fates grant you good luck. My king! I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Gorm Kurtveson, you dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven Clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father, Kjortvig. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Bakrat, you lie! Hold, Ava. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm, and a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Ava, a wolf kissed. You are Kjortvig's slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? You are king of these lands, Harald. The decision must be yours. A modest and honorable answer. Gorm, I name you Worm, and call you Exiled. Leave these lands by the next full moon, or I will feed you to the crows myself. King Harald, may I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble. But we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harald brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me. Not a word. And I will not yield a title that should be mine by right. Then war will continue. Men will die, villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall. You'll drink adult cow. Alone and toothless in a bed of straw. Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, dear Bjornjarl. And I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear change, to resist it. But all things change and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. There was an ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stupion's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. I dream of a glorious death, but not at the cost of betraying my family. I wish I understood you better. For those I do not understand, I do not trust, and I cannot stomach a lack of trust. You have nothing to fear from me, King Harald. My loyalty lies with my brother Sigurd, and I bear you no ill will. Then know that if you stay in Norway, both you and your brother must serve under me. Take tomorrow to think on this. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom made new.
are you doing? If you wish to have words, come closer. I need your eyes, my friend. I have not had the win all day. I must turn this around. It's Eivor! Open the door! Come in, but keep your voice down. You will alert Harald's men. Where will we live? The English will fight back! The wars will never end! Or they will push us into the Christian Quiet waves! Quiet all! Give me a chance to speak! Harold's colors. He is already marking his death. days ago, we rid this land of Kyrtve and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own. Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that, my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harald's boot. Not without fueling more wars. So we push forward. To newer lands. To England. And there make a new home. A kingdom of our own. The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I like this idea. A saga for the ages, I agree. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home. But the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No. That belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. In England, we must start anew. You would start us with nothing? In a land we do not know? Among people who hate us? Kjotve's riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It is within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. If we go, we will need all the help we can get. I say we take cut the spoils for our own. I abhor such theft. But if this is what it takes to sway you to my cause, I accept. Styrbjörn will prosper by the generosity of his new king. Kjotve's goods belong to us. To England, then, before the day is out. Pack what you need, but no more than that. And tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. But our threats will cross again before the final day. Until then, farewell.
don't like the way those soldiers watch I find it flattering. You think one will marry you when care Stretch your wings, Sunan. and carry you off to the capital. Would he? He would take his pleasure and move on, you moonlight mad pie, leaving you with a little soldier to race by yourself. How can I help? Do you need anything else? I will free you from this bond. And I will be ready when you need me. The wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure. As is the promise of glory. But the act of leaving so beloved a home, there is a sadness to it. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let us tank to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look! Fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. Sigurd! What is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga, in England. Nonsense! Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon, other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. There's nothing for me here. I must go make my name in the world. And you have plundered Fornberg's resources, I see. You leave nothing behind but your honor. You left me no choice. I entered the Alving a prince. I left the son of a Jarl. There are always choices, Sigurd. I will not stand between you and yours, but I do not accept it. <sighs> Sigurd. 
Seventeen winters ago, I opened my door to you, Eivor. And now, your only thanks is to rob me? I should have left you to the wolves. Sad old elk. Do not carry his words with you to England. He brought this day upon himself. I know. sacks of wool put some muscle into those pools ration your strength dog we have an ocean to cross all right you lazy back route sigurd what's our course the sons of ragnar established the settlement near the coast we set sail for that Dagi, sing a song to lift our hood to rouse the gods inspire a mighty fart from thor to speed us on our way an ocean lies before us, Eivor, and on its far side, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well from your troubles. I spent a season in their kingdom of Mercia, a temperate land, lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart. Do we mean to join their army? They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Raven Clan and the glory we brought to that fractured land. So to England, glory and destiny. To England, to England, for Valhalla. at the University of Cambridge, Dr. Sierka told a worried audience that scientists have few answers for them. Since the mass coronal ejection of 2012, the strength of the Earth's magnetic field has increased by a factor of 50,000. This has resulted in huge disturbances in radio and satellite communications, dangerous bands of radiation around the poles, and as we can all see from our window, an aurora borealis that never burns away. Unfortunately, we are stumped as to why this is happening. And if we cannot find an answer soon, it may change the way we live, the way we communicate, even the way we evolve forever. Dr. Sierka went on to say... Bought you more electrolytes? Oh, new and improved citrus flavor. Thanks, Sean.
How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? <laughs>